Yeah, what's up, guys? How you doing? I know, man, it's been a while. I haven't really been making videos, like commentaries and stuff like that in a while. I mean, I've been making, like, Rocksmith stuff, and I've been making Diablo stuff and whatnot, but that's, that's not what my channel is based on. You know, I should make, like, another channel for, like, tutorials. <laughs> Casey's tutorials or some bullcrap. Like, I don't, I don't even know. What would that even go under, like, would that be, like, what kind of, like, genre of gaming would that go under? Like, is, uh, do they even have, like, a tutorial gaming? Anyways, sorry. Um, not feeling that great today. Ooh, well, what a freaking surprise, right? I know. But, uh, <laughs> I wanted to make a video because, you know, I, I want to apologize first off for anyone that I've ever probably disappointed you know, not probably, I know I have. And to all of my friends that I've let down because uh, I had stuff going on and I wasn't able to be there like they wanted me to. I feel like that I, I've been that person really bad here recently. You know, and sometimes it's not my fault. Usually it's not my fault. If I can be there, I'll try to be there. But uh, I fear that people, I really fear that people really take it to heart you know and then they're like well he freaking doesn't make time for me man freaking why should I make time for him and you're right you know why should you make time for me you know don't make time for me if you really feel that way honestly honestly yeah honestly you should just say it you know and I feel like here recently people just look at me and they're like yeah man um uh, certain way you know they, they'll just be a certain way or whatever and uh, act like everything's all right i mean like i personally don't get it you know i don't get why people can't just be blunt like are they just scared that i'm gonna be like you know what screw you i don't ever want to talk to you again I mean, seriously how many people have ever said that to i mean very few people man i i'm you know pretty understandable i mean I have, like, the worst track record with, you know, being the, able to be there, you know, uh, and being able to be, you know, dependable. And not so much that it's my fault sometimes, even. Just the fact that I just have to deal with other people and depend on other, you know, depend on other people pretty much. Like, for example, you know, this whole internet thing, you know, paying $250 a month for internet... You know, I can't even seem to get them to come out here and install it. I mean, you know, I'm, I say that, you know, later today or tomorrow, they'll call me and they're like, yeah, man, we're coming out. But um, <laughs> it's my luck to complain about things and then it gets fixed. But um, honestly, no, man, I, I hate it. I hate being in my situation. I hate being freaking, you could say disabled. Whatever it is, you know, I I have a health handicap. There you go. You know, I I have uh, I can do pretty much anything that anyone else can do, but when I do it, it hurts really really bad, and to the point where I mean I can't do it anymore. I can't do things, uh, and it sucks. You know, and what pisses me off when people act like it's not really there, and oh you know it's not that bad. You know, screw you, buddy. I really you know. My mom dated a guy like that once. Really pissed me off. I never want to talk to him again, honestly, you know. But I, I try to be nice. I try to play along. And for, you know, the people who... Um, and for the people who don't really seem like they really care or that, uh, you know, faking or anything, you know. Up yours, really. That's what I have to say. <laughs> You know, uh, and why am I saying this? It's just, it goes along with the whole, the fact that I'm, I'm really tired of like having to depend on other people for things. I see the people around me, I see their opportunities and they don't take them. And I think to myself, if I had that same opportunity, I'd be on that so hard. You know, I'd be like a hooker on 9th street, man. I'd, I'd be on that so freaking quick. You have no idea, man. Uh, but people, they just... They don't see what they have. I mean, I don't see what I have sometimes, you know. People would kill for my uh, little gaming setup, but then they'd probably kill themselves if they had the same 
problems with the setup and <laughs> yeah you know, no I I don't know the list goes on and on you know we all have problems and the moral of the story is even though we all have problems and we all have to like depend on something you know each other you know whatever it may be sometimes we depend on trying to be with you know just independent with ourselves and uh we're really we're really like we just can't give it over to anyone else like we can't we can't like say you know what i'll let you take control you know and that really gets to some people and that really is a show shot you know, show stopper excuse me but um yeah more of the story is uh dependability man it sucks balls <laughs> I don't know. It's as the best I can come up with. And I'm not feeling good, so this is going to have to do. <laughs> By the way, I want to thank Avenged and his girlfriend, Amanda. Or Girl Gamer. Whatever you guys, you know, know anything about them or whatever. Um, pretty cool. I was playing with them. Also, I think I was playing with Mr. Wilcox. And eventually I was going to play with uh, Mr. Spider-Man. But yeah, anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Go and follow me on Twitter. They had Casey McRae and tweet me some stuff. Call me at a hole, whatever it is that you like to do. And I will talk to you later. Peace.